20 things that will happen when Prince William will be the king. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about the changes that will happen after Prince William's takes hold of the monarchy. When the news broke that Queen Elizabeth II had died at 96, the world was thrust into absolute shock and mourning. The Queen's eldest son, Prince Charles, was eventually named the new British monarch. As King Charles took the throne at the age of 73, many people have already started speculating how the monarchy will look in Prince William's era. Is likely to become the king in the near future, everyone wonders how this power will transfer from King Charles to Prince William and whether it will be different from King Charles's coronation. Think no more! Here are all the things that will likely happen when Prince William will be the king. Number 20. Coronation of William will take months. If King Charles III abdicates or dies, Prince William, currently the Duke of Cornwall, will become king immediately. After Queen Elizabeth II's demise, King Charles was directly taken to the accession ceremony, where the accession council announced him as the new monarch of the British monarchy. Similarly, the royal allegiances were shifted to the new monarch, King Charles. In the same way, Prince William will ascend to the throne. He will inherit the crown's duties. Although his coronation would likely take months, he will be required to take over his new royal responsibilities immediately after King Charles's death. For several reasons, an immediate coronation would not be possible if William became king right now. It's because it takes months, if not years, to prepare for a coronation. This ceremony is important in the new monarch's life. Hence, it's essential to get it correct. Surprisingly, the coronation ceremony of King Charles has yet to happen. According to the Daily Mail, Charles's coronation, known as Operation Golden Orb, will occur on May 6, 2023, approximately eight months after Queen Elizabeth II's death. Number 19. Catherine will become queen. Back in 2005, when Camilla Parker married Prince Charles, a lot of attention was paid to her title. At the time of the wedding, it was announced that Camilla would be given the title of Queen, following her husband's ascension to the throne. Queen Elizabeth II said that Camilla would instead be called Queen Consort. This is a significant change. Now that King Charles III is on the throne, people often call her Queen Camilla. This is a hint that Catherine, Prince of Wales, will be required to follow the same. You may ask, why consort? Consort is given to the royal member by marriage, not by blood. As Catherine is royal by marriage, she will likely have consort designation. But she would still be called Queen Catherine by the public. Number 18. Prince George will become the direct heir to the throne. King Charles spent his whole life waiting to take up the throne. Now that he's 73, he's finally fulfilling the throne's duties. Prince William, who had been second in line to the throne, significantly changed his succession position after Queen Elizabeth II's death. As William is now the direct heir to the throne, now when Charles dies or abdicates, William will be the king. His son, Prince George, will become the natural heir to the throne. Right now, Prince George is nine years old and already second in line to the throne. But the attention paid to the direct heir of the throne is different. All of this is too much for an elementary kid. Number 17. Princess Charlotte will have a spot in succession. The succession line of the throne is quite complicated, but after Prince William takes control of the throne, his daughter Princess Charlotte will become second in line to the throne. Right now, William is in the first position for the throne. His son George is in the second, and his daughter Charlotte is in third. This is due to the act passed in 2013, which would help Charlotte maintain her position in line, unlike Princess Anne. Princess Anne, Queen Elizabeth's second eldest child, was in the second position for the throne after Charles. But when Elizabeth gave birth to Andrew and Edward, they both jumped ahead of Anne in the succession line because of their gender. After Charles, Andrew, and Edward had their children, Anne's place in the succession line got pushed much more and she stood 16th in the queue even after being Elizabeth's second child. As a result of the succession to the Crown Act, Charlotte will maintain her spot in the royal line. After George, her elder brother, has children, her place might be affected, but not as much as Anne's. 
Number 16. William will use his ruling name. Looking back, it's easily identified that the royals' names have changed often. For example, King George VI, Elizabeth's father, was first named Albert Frederick Arthur George at the time of his birth. When he was to assume the throne, he went by George. But Queen Elizabeth II chose to maintain her birth name, and King Charles did the same. So when William takes the throne, he will have to decide if he wants to choose a different name or keep it the way it is. Since his birth name is William Arthur Philip Louis, he has three other names to decide which one he wants. Number 15. Meeting with Commonwealth Leaders As direct heir to the British throne, Prince William makes his dedication to the crown known through his work as a senior royal. William and his wife Catherine are seen in public events that partner with charities and organizations they care about. They also represent the royal family on international trips. But when William is the king, he will face much more responsibilities. He will also be expected to attend Commonwealth countries and meetings with leaders. One of the earliest aspects of the job which King Charles III executed was meetings with Commonwealth representatives. The new king also traveled across Great Britain, attending conferences and uniting the country. William will likely do the same, considering he's younger than his father when he holds the throne. The new king may even hit the road more often. Number 14. Catherine gets access to crown jewels. Thinking about life as a royal, we get thoughts of castles and crowns. At the same time, life as a working royal has much more to do with charity and volunteering than parading around in a tiara. The people with access to the crown jewels certainly dazzle occasionally. This brings us to William and his eventual assumption of the throne. When William succeeds his father, his wife will have complete access to the crown jewels, paying attention to the royal etiquette. Royal fans will likely get to see Catherine in some incredible jewels. As a queen consort, Catherine will continue to incorporate jewelry gifted by the late Queen Elizabeth II. Still, she will surely take advantage of the access to the extraordinary collection. Number 13. The King Will Move to Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace is one of the most visited places, given its central location and prominent position as the dominant home for royals. Queen Elizabeth II spent significant time at Buckingham Palace, allowing regular audiences with prime ministers, official events, and royal duties. As such, it's likely that Prince William will move into Buckingham Palace when he takes the throne. They were opting for a quieter life in the country, so William and Catherine decided mutually on Windsor as their primary residence, which also allowed their children more privacy and a school life not burdened by prying paparazzi. It should be included that William and Catherine both have retained their Kensington and Norfolk mansion properties. Despite their current residence, the Wales family will probably relocate when William eventually takes the throne. That will also allow him to be far more present and readily available for royal duties. Number 12. Royal family could become more condensed. Currently, the royal family has some stars. All the royal members dominate the headlines, including William and Catherine. Prince Harry and Meghan equally rival them. At the same time, King Charles and Camilla will continue to share their 1980s infidelity story as long as they are living and positively royals. However, Prince Andrew will always remain a dark stain on the family's reputation. It didn't come as a shock to learn that King Charles II had plans to make the royal family considerably smaller before even taking the throne. It was sure that only one has to look at William's ongoing bad relations with his younger brother. Harry, younger than William, got a sense of where allegiances lie. While Harry has made it crystal clear that he prioritizes his wife, children, and mental health above all else, William has displayed his dedication to the crown. This perspective will likely be maintained and perhaps increased over time. Number 11. Prince will be more in the government. The Queen doesn't have any power in politics, but she does open the sessions of Parliament and the House of Lords. She also gives her approval to orders and proclamations, decisions made by the Privy Council that have the force of law. This means that if she didn't like a proposed law, she could speak out against it. 
When Prince William is crowned, he will take over the Queen's current duties. Like his grandmother, he will only be able to make new laws with the help of Parliament. Number 10. Prince William Will Inherit More Harper's Bazaar says that Prince William is already worth 29 million pounds. He got this money from his mother, Princess Diana, and his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother. In addition to the money he makes as a helicopter pilot in the RAF, Charles will also get money from the Duchy of Cornwall, a whopping 53,000 hectares of land spread across 23 counties. This money will come to him when Charles takes the throne. The sovereign grant, which helps pay for the royal family's expensive lifestyle, also helps Prince William. When Prince William is crowned king, his wealth will likely grow again because he will get money from his father, King Charles, from estates and other investments. The royal art collection will also go to him. Number 9. The Bagpipes Will Wake Up Prince William Even if you think you're ready for a new job, there's always something to learn. When Prince William becomes king, he must change his daily routine, such as getting up to an old-fashioned wake-up call. Instead of using an alarm clock or phone to wake him up every morning, he will be woken up by the sound of bagpipes, which is a bit less modern. Christine Marie Dixon, a royal commentator, told the list that it doesn't look like he'll need an alarm clock once William becomes King of England. He will be woken up the same way the Queen of England has been for hundreds of years. Since 1843, the King or Queen has had a bagpiper play for them. This person is called the Piper to the Sovereign. Number 8. Prince William Will No Longer Have to Bow Commentators say that when Prince William and Catherine become king and queen, they will no longer have to follow an essential royal rule. When Prince William and Kate's roles change in the monarchy, they will have to learn how to act in different ways. Christine Marie Dixon, who told the story on the list, explained what this would mean. She told the audience, even though it's a small change, Prince William can look forward to having one less etiquette rule to follow when he becomes king. When William becomes king, he won't have to bend down to anyone else. When you meet the queen, or whoever the British monarch is, you should bow to them. Miss Dixon went on. Before William had to bow to his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth and his father, Prince Charles, who were all older than him. But the King of Britain does not need to bow in front of anyone else in the royal family. However, when they meet other royal families from around the world, the rules are different. Number 7. The National Anthem Will Change Because national anthems are a part of history, they are renowned for remaining unchanged. God Save the Queen is currently the national anthem of England. If William's father abdicates when he becomes king, the national hymn will be God Save the King. The national anthem will already have been altered if William follows his father. To fit the new sovereign, a few expressions must be modified from feminine to masculine. The words she and her frequently appear in the current anthem. This is the old national anthem. Both commoners and royals will need some time to get used to the new song after nearly 70 years of God Save the Queen. Number 6. Currency Will All Have to Change Currently, Queen Elizabeth II's image can be found on English banknotes. The next sovereign will become the new currency when she dies or abdicates. Prince Charles is scheduled to be here. The money will be printed with his image if he ascends to the throne. Prince William will succeed him as king, and the new currency will need to be produced if he passes away or abdicates. William's visage will be on every piece of currency, including coins and paper money. However, England's economy has suffered greatly. As a result, this is the benchmark that previous kings and queens established. While King William may not use regular money daily, the average person will see his face every time they pay for food or a service. Number 5. He Cannot Appear as a Court Witness When William becomes king, he won't have to worry about spending time in court and can witness all the crimes he wants, as he wouldn't count as a witness. William won't be permitted to testify in court after he assumes the throne of England. This might be unfortunate if William is the only person to witness a dreadful crime. Additionally, if he were to learn of treason, he would be unable to assist. 
This relieves the king of some responsibility, but it might prevent crucial information from being disclosed to a court. Royals typically are at a different place at the right time. Thus, William wouldn't have to go to trial. He would state the court in dire situations. Number 4. The country's behavior will reflect his actions. William will be consulted on a wide range of issues by the country. William will speak for the nation as the monarch. People will reflect his allegiance to the government in their actions. His loyalty to his country will serve as a model for others. Including others in his remarks to the government will result in others accepting those people. He will eventually develop into a role model for commoners and royals in terms of behavior and speech. Suppose William was to have contempt for his country. In that case, it is conceivable that ordinary people would follow suit and begin to find faults everywhere. To encourage the rest of the population to observe national holidays, it will be crucial for King William to show pride in his kingdom. Number 3. Charity work will be in the limelight. Since they were married, Prince William and Duchess Kate have been sure to place a significant emphasis on charity. It is anticipated that William will continue to value charitable activities after he becomes king. The soon-to-be king and queen prioritize charities that benefit young people and those that support mental health. After William's coronation, they'll continue doing this as a part of their regular responsibilities. The average person will start to imitate these royals' charitable behaviors, which might be fantastic for the nation. The nation will then be committed to assisting those in need, especially those less fortunate. This will spread throughout the country as a standard practice. William and Kate have gone above and beyond the current charitable work the royals do. Number 2. Stamps and post office boxes will change. The post office and the documents associated with it are covered in the image and the initials of the queen. Even though she never uses stamps, the queen's image appears on English stamps. Mailboxes currently display the symbol for Elizabeth II, E2R. William will have to pose for their postal stamps when he's crowned king. Additionally, he will never need to use these stamps, but the rest of the nation will. Mailboxes and other structures will be renamed to reflect the name he picks. They will pronounce his name as William. Thus, they will say W5R. The economy will suffer a little from this gradual, expensive shift. Still, many average people will welcome the new era with enthusiasm. Number 1. He will appoint bishops. When William becomes king, he will assume the responsibilities currently held by the sovereign. William became the Church of England's supreme governor after he became king of England. As a result, the royal family continued to practice Anglicanism. William will have the same influence in the church thanks to this position. William will have the authority and responsibility to name archbishops and bishops to the church as supreme governor of the Church of England. To make his choice, he will typically speak with the UK's current Prime Minister, who will seek guidance from church leaders. This enables William to make the best choice possible. Additionally, William will follow in the footsteps of previous royals by adopting the role of Defender of the Faith. This brings us to the end of the video. Now you have a better idea about the changes that will arise after Prince William becomes the king. Also, let us know which facts surprise you the most. Comment down below. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon for all the upcoming future updates.